everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a classic Santa hat. This is a fairly easy to work Santa hat pattern. It uh, has a classic look and feel to it with a homemade pom-pom, an easy to work stitch, and a beautiful fold up double thick brim. For the tutorial today, you're going to need a five millimeter or an H8 crochet hook and some worsted weight yarn. I'm working with the Woolies yarn by Lion Brand. It's a worsted weight yarn, 80% uh, acrylic, 20% wool. There is approximately 197 yards per ball. You're going to need one ball of white and one ball of red. My white is the fisherman and this is the Twani port. And and um, yeah, so you're going to need one ball of each, so about 200 yards of each. You might use a little bit less of the white if you choose to work a, a single layered brim, so one that you don't fold up. That's where you can save on the yarn there. You're also going to want a copy of the free written instructions, which are on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, there'll be a direct link for you in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. If you happen to make your hat, I look forward to seeing it. Uh, you can tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started on our classic Santa hat. Our hat today is worked from the brim up, and the the one we're going to work today is size to fit an adult head, so 20 to 22 inch circumference. Uh, it is unisex in nature. I The hat fits me, it fits my husband, it has a little bit of stretch to it. It's just a wonderful hat to make. If you do need to change the size of your hat, uh, you can use any multiple of stitches, both for the hat brim and for the hat body. Um, just realize that your stitch counts are going to change come the closing of the top of your hat. So our brim is worked in rows. We're going to start with color A and make a slip knot because I'm making a double thick brim when I'm going to be folding up. I'm going to start by chaining 25. You can chain more or less depending on the width of your brim. Once you have that foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook, and then slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. If you would prefer, you're welcome to work single crochet or half double crochet for these stitches. I just love the look and the feel of a slip stitch brim, so I'll be working my brim in all slip stitches. So slip stitch in that second stitch, and then each stitch all the way across. Once you come all the way across at the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. We're going to continue working slip stitches. This time we're going to work them into the back loop only. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you have this loop that is in front, a loop that is in back. This back loop is your back loop only. So you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. Your chain one did not count as a stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Always working in that back loop only. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one, turn your work. You're now going to repeat row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches when the fabric is relaxed. When you stretch the brim, it should measure comfortably around your head, 20 to 22, maybe 23 inches. Um, if you need to work a few more rows, you can do that or less 
it's up to you but I find working 16 to 17 inches is just going to give my hat a nice shape down at the bottom so go ahead repeat row two and then meet me back here once you have worked 16 to 17 inches this is what the brim is going to look like should have a quite a bit of stretch to it you're going to take your brim and you're going to fold it over so that your two short ends meet we're then going to join these two shorter ends together by working slip stitches in the back loop only of each side all the way across so chain one into that first stitch in the back loop only insert your hook then across over to the other side in the and the corresponding stitch back loop only and slip stitch you're going to work these slip stitches in each stitch working through both thicknesses all the way across at the end of this row you can fasten off weave in your ends we're going to be switching over to our color B for the rest of the hat So when you come all the way across with your slip stitches, you're going to fasten off that color A. Leave your brim so that it is right side out. You want this seam side facing you if you are working the fold up brim because this way when you fold it up, it's going to hide that seam. Now if you're working a brim that you're not going to fold up, then by all means turn it so that it's right side out you want that right side facing you but for the fold up brim leave your wrong side facing you you're then going to take your color b and you're going to join it just going to join it up along the top I joined it right into directly into my seam like so and then you're going to chain one we're now going to work the hat body with our color B you're going to evenly work 80 single crochet stitches all the way around for me this gave me a nice loose kind of bottom slouchy bottom for the Santa hat and lots of room to work decreases up at the top again if you need to change the number of stitches you're working you can just realize it'll change your stitch counts uh, when it comes to working your decreases so work 80 single crochet stitches all the way around and when you come to that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch as I'm working these single crochet stitches I'm just inserting my hook where it feels comfortable uh, some people might like to put a stitch marker about halfway around work 40 on one side 40 on the other side uh, whatever you find helps just make sure they're fairly even when you come all the way around you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch now for rounds two through to seven so for the next six rounds you're going to work in the back loop only of each stitch and work double crochet stitches so to begin you're going to chain three then into your next stitch in the back loop only work one double crochet you're going to double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch all the way around when you come to that first stitch that chain three you're going to join with the slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three you're going to work six rounds 
of double crochet stitches worked in the back loop only. And then we'll start the decreases for the top of our hat. Now at the end of round seven, that's what your work looks like from the beginning. We're going to work a some uh, decrease rounds now, or at least one of them to get us started. You're going to start by chaining three, and this counts again as a double crochet stitch. For round eight, you're going to work in the back loop only, and you're going to work a double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So including that chain three, you have a total of six stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. You're then going to work a double crochet two together over the next two stitches. To work the double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, back loop only, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to repeat that in the next stitch, yarn over, Insert your hook in the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook, that's your double crochet two together. You're then going to work a double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next six stitches. and work a double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, double crochet in each of the next six stitches, and double crochet two stitches together all the way around until you come to your first stitch. Join in the top of that first stitch. At the end of your round eight, you're going to have a total of 70 stitches. For round nine, you're going to chain three and working in the back loop only, you're going to simply work a double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round nine, you'll still have 70 stitches. At the end of round nine, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. For round 10, chain three, and working into the back loop only, you're going to work a double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Next, work a double crochet, two stitches together. Double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And double crochet, two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around until you come to that first stitch. When you come to the first stitch, join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 10, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have a total of 60 stitches. You're going to chain three. And for round 11, you're simply going to work in the back loop only and double crochet into the next stitch and in each stitch all the way around. When you come back to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, you will continue to have 60 stitches. 
at the end of your round 11, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain three. For round 12, we're going to work in the back loop only and work a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Next, double crochet two stitches together. You're then going to work a double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And double crochet two stitches together. We're going to repeat this all the way around, double crochet in each of the next four stitches, followed by double crochet two together until you come to your first stitch. You're going to join in the top of your first stitch, which is that starting chain three. At the end of round 12, you're going to have a total of 50 stitches for round 13, chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. Working in your back loop only, you're going to work a double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to that first stitch, which is your starting chain three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain. For round 14, we're going to chain three, working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way around, you're going to double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then double crochet two stitches together. Double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around, double crochet in each of the next three stitches, followed by double crochet two stitches together, always working in the back loop only. When you come to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 14, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain three. At the end of round 14, you will have a total of 40 stitches. You'll see that the top of your hat is coming to a close nicely. For round 15, we're going to work in the back loop only. You're simply going to double crochet into that next stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. At the end of your round 15, when you come back to that first stitch, Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round 15, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 16, chain 3. Working in the back loop only, work a double crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet two stitches together. Double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then double crochet two stitches together all the way around until you come to the first stitch. When you come to the first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain three, and then for your round 17, you're just going to work the double crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of your round 16 and 17, you will have a total of 30 stitches.
At the end of your round 17, you've joined with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Chain three. For round 18, you're going to work a double crochet, two together in the back loop only. And then double crochet into your next stitch. And then work another double crochet, two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Double crochet into your next stitch and then double crochet two stitches together all the way around until you come to your first stitch. When you come to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to go on to your round 19. You'll chain three and work a double uh, crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way around. At the end of your rounds 18 and 19, you'll have a total of 20 stitches. For round 20, you're going to chain two and then double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. This is going to count as a double crochet two stitches together. You're then going to work a double crochet two together in each stitch all the way around, always working again in that back loop only. Once you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, which is into the top of that uh, first double crochet stitch. So skip that chain two and just work directly into the top of your double crochet. Uh, you can then chain three and then work a double crochet into each stitch all the way around working in that back loop only and that will be for your round 21. At the end of your rounds 20 and 21 you will have a total of 10 stitches. Once you come all the way around at the end of round 21 you can then join with the slip stitch in the first stitch and you can fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail. You're then going to take that long tail, thread it through your yarn needle, and use it to close the top of your hat. So I'm just going to turn my hat inside out here briefly. And I'll also pull back a little bit. There we go. And to close the top of my hat, I simply weave in and out through that top round of stitches, just through the uh, top loops where you'd normally insert your hook, all the way around through the top. When you come back to your first stitch, simply pull it closed. It's going to bring the top of your hat together. You can then fasten off You'll want to anchor it a little bit, so I'm just right working a little bit of a knot. And then you're going to weave in your ends. Trim your yarn. You can go ahead and weave in any other ends that you might have sticking out there. Then you can take a pom-pom, and I've just made another one here with a little bit of leftover yarn from my color A and through the top of your hat. Now some people like to attach them with a button. It's up to you. I am, I do like to have it so that I can remove the pom-poms if necessary uh, when I'm throwing it in the wash, which with these yarn pom-poms, it's always a good idea. It also makes it easier if it ever needs to be replaced. Then on the inside, through the top of my hat. So if you wanted to, again, you could use a button to fasten it or snap. I simply like to pull it tight so it's on the top and just tie a little bit of a bow. 
That way there's no extra pieces. Easy to put on and off. You can turn your hat right side out. Flip up your brim. And that is your classic Santa hat. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, pretty soon, if it's not up already, it'll be up later on this week, you'll find a free crochet pattern for a classic elf hat, which is going to be super fun. So once again, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.